Well, hello, IDS 105, and welcome to week six here in your IDS 105 class. I am Melanie Shop, your IDS 105 Learning Community Gal, just to walk you through quickly what is due in week six and where to find everything. So here in week six, like always, you can find your course information at learn.snhu.edu in bright space, and we're navigating down to module six. When you click on module six, remember that it pulls up the introduction, the overview, any resources for your success, and also goes over your assignments. This week, you have a discussion assignment. Remember, initial discussion posts due by Thursdays, minimum of two peer responses due by Sunday or earlier as convenient for your schedule. You also this week have a journal assignment all about navigating feedback. Your journal assignment is due by Sunday of module six or earlier as convenient for your schedule. So let's talk real quick about module six. So as a reminder, when you click on the week six introduction, it's going to bring up an overview of the course and the objectives. Make sure you're scrolling all the way through and arrowing over because there's a lot of actual reading content within your module that you want to make sure that you don't miss. Always make sure you scroll all the way through and arrow over so that you can review any of the module reading in addition to any of your required resources like textbook reading, videos, or any articles that might help support your success. For this week's discussion assignment, we're going to be talking about intentional inclusion through cultural awareness. So the questions you are answering for this week here in module six are question one, how do you listen to others with empathy in the online learning environment? Or how could you? Question two, how have others listened to you with empathy? As always, it's helpful to give um, extra details and examples when you're answering these questions in your discussion board. As a reminder, initial post due Thursday with peer responses submitted on Sunday or before. Your journal this week, you wanna make sure you navigate to your 6-2 journal navigating feedback. Click on guidelines and rubric and it's gonna pull up an overview of the assignment. The directions this week, of course, is to open up that Microsoft Word document. As a reminder, if you don't have that for some reason yet, you do get Office 365 for free as an SNA2 student. You can find that under Online Student Services. You are answering these four questions this week in your journal assignment. The biggest thing I want to remind you with this week's journal is to make sure you're answering all pieces and parts of each question. So question one, describe your perceptions regarding receiving feedback. So things you wanna answer, how does receiving feedback make you feel and how could you improve your reaction to feedback? Question two, describe how you could use past feedback. And this could be from school, it could be from work, it could be from sports, it could be personal, whatever you want it to be. But how could you use past feedback that you have gotten to help you give, feed, give and receive feedback now? So you wanna think about what you've learned from past experiences with feedback and how you can apply what you've learned in future feedback situations. Question three, Describe the impact that diversity awareness has on giving and receiving feedback when communicating and collaborating with others. Question four, describe how you can use strategies for interacting with diverse groups of people as you give and receive feedback. As always, just a reminder, you can submit your journal as a one-page Microsoft Word document. Um, if you get stuck, if you have questions, if you're not sure in something, please reach out to your instructor. You may optionally use the video note tool to complete this assignment too, but please make sure that you check the video note guidelines and information to ensure that you do it properly. All right, y'all, we're getting close to the finish line. Have a great week six. And remember, you got this.